Well, we are talking travel, and joining us now is CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg. Peter, where are you joining us from this week? It's an easy one, New York. Okay, all right, all right. It's not as exotic, if you will, as some of the other places you've been <laughs> recently, but it's great. Okay, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin introduced the Protect Your Points Act. It would make airlines give travelers a whole year's notice before changing how much loyalty points are worth. This would potentially give people a window to actually use those points the way they want. Is this a step in the right direction? Is it enough? It's one step that's going to happen with a number of different pieces of legislation because right now in the, in the era of deregulation, believe it or not, there's nobody minding the store when it comes to airline frequent flyer programs. The airlines are free to change the program on a moment's notice. They can devalue the points overnight. They can increase their levels of redemption. They can end the programs whenever they want. And the problem is, you know, everybody's been induced to join these programs on a promise that the minute you get to a certain number of points or, or miles, you get a quote unquote free ticket. That has not been the case over the last couple of years as the airlines are doing everything they can basically not to redeem those miles simply because they don't want to displace revenue passengers and, uh, and keep that promise. So this is the first in a number of pieces of legislation that are finally going to be introduced. I don't know if they'll be passed, but at least they're addressing the issue that so many passengers have. And what is that? They've earned all these miles and they have an inability to redeem them. Yeah, super frustrating, I know. Uh, more and more airlines are pausing flights over Israel and Lebanon right now because of unrest in that region. Should anyone planning a trip abroad that even crosses over that airspace start reconsidering? Well, we're dealing with another bigger issue right now over not just that airspace, but airspace over all conflicted areas. That includes Ukraine, that includes India, Pakistan, mm. other parts of the Middle East. Mm. And that's something called GPS spoofing. It's a real problem because it's erroneous electronic signals that come into the airplane cockpit that give the, the, give the pilots completely wrong information as to either where they are or what they must do. Um, and pilots are now being briefed on this and uh, anticipate it. Uh, technology is being developed on how to redo the instrumentation of the cockpit so it doesn't happen. But right now, a lot of airlines are either avoiding that airspace or briefing their pilots so that they're not given the wrong signals in, 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 in some critical parts of the, of, the, of the plane's flight, especially during the landing. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, switching gears here a little bit. When I travel, my husband often has to encourage me to actually take pictures, but you wrote on your site, petergreenberg.com, that more people are killed by selfies than shark attacks, which is crazy. Is it really that big of a problem? Are people really selfieing themselves to death? I'm afraid it's death by selfie. We have an entire generation of people, consider yourself not one of them, happily, that think that the definition of a good photo has to include them in it. And too often people are not situationally aware they keep on, you know, they, they keep on either leaning out the window of the train, not realizing there's a train coming in the other direction, or they keep moving back to get that. There's a great shot where they keep on moving back to, to try to get that perfect photograph and off the cliff they go. It's quite a serious problem. Oh. And uh, you know what? You can take the picture of yourself when you get home, showing yourself looking at all the other pictures where you're not in it. Yeah, just or, you know, um, sort of digitally put yourself on that cliff later, if you can even do that. All right, CBS Travel Editor Peter Greenberg, as always, thank you, and I look forward to talking to you again next week.